afternoon, folks. Big Bo with RVs with Big Bo at Parkway RV Center. And as promised, guys, we're going to do another hard to find pre owned expandable travel trailer. That's a mouthful. Uh, this is a 2018 Jayco J Feather. This is the 19 uh, H, and this is a little smaller tra uh, expandable travel trailer. It is a, du a dual axle. And uh, this unit is uh, 17.9. Very nice one, very clean. It's priced thousands under NADA average retail. And it's a, this is a nice unit, guys. I've got it plugged into 30 amp power. It's got air, air conditioner going, refrigerator's cold. Got the awning out, at least as far as I could with the one beside it. So the awning's good. Uh, power tongue jack. It's got the aluminum frame. It's got Jayco's famous Magnum Truss roof system. I uh, believe a 2,500 pound capacity on the roof, you know, strength test anyway. Um, you've got front and rear canvas pop outs. You know, guys, that one I did last night, that um, um, Shamrock hybrid, already sold it. That's how fast these things sell. These, these hybrids are not easy to find used. Uh, they are very hard to find used. And I've got this one right here. I know they're not for everybody. You know, everybody's got their own version of RVing. You know, this is more for those that still like the amenities of a regular camper, but still want the camping-like feel with the tent ends, which I really like. I owned one of these several years ago. I really liked it, guys. Um, but, you know, you still get the tent feel at night when you're sleeping, but you still got the amenities of a full-size bathroom, a full kitchen, heat, air, hot water, all that good stuff, and a whole lot easier to set up than a pop-up. You can set this thing up. This particular one right here, one person can set this thing up in 10 to 15 minutes very easily versus a uh, pop-up, which takes about 30 to 45 minutes with one person. And um, very, very easy to set up. And the fact that you can actually load and unload this thing and even use this camper without even putting your beds out is pretty amazing. So we do have a power on it. A little dirty. We haven't washed it yet, but... Um, and it does work. Watch your head right there. <laughs> It'll come out another foot or two, guys. I got some outside speakers. And uh, overall length is 21 feet, eight inches when you're towing it. Now, when you're actually set up using it, you're almost 25 feet long. That's another benefit of this hybrid expandable is you're getting a lot you're towing a lot smaller camper than you're getting when you're camping. So, and then these are actually designed to be towed by many of today's modern crossover, uh, what we used to call SUVs. And uh, in fact, it only weighs 3,700 pounds, so very lightweight, and it can sleep eight people. So if you're looking for sleeping capacity, lightweight, something you can tow with a family crossover, these are great. And the fact you got four separate beds too. And um, you do have the step above. Uh, so you got a really solid step. You've got the alloy wheels, nitrogen field tires, uh, Goodyear's. It's a lot of camper right here. You see the canvas looks good. Got some condensation from the AC. I've had it running for about two hours now. So it's nice and cool inside. Which is good because heat index is going to be 107 today. I even got the uh, refrigerator on for the last couple hours and it's already getting cold. And you can see the striping and finish looks great. Of course, Jayco needs no introduction. I mean, the Jayco J Feather, one of the best selling travel trailers of all time. I mean, the canvas looks good. Can't even see it right here, but I'll show you on the inside. There's one small, that might be it right there. Little Mickey Mouse, little pinhole. Not even hardly worth mentioning, but you know, I always say I point out the good and the bad in used RVs. I mean, no used RV is perfect. And who wants to go out and spend $35,000 on a new one? Because that's about what these things cost new, especially by the time they fee you and upsell you to death actually cost you more than that all aluminum frame fury and stereo which sounds great i had it on earlier while i was doing pictures and setting it up um 
Let's look inside. Oh, that air feels good. I tell you, that makes it a lot easier to film these things when I've got full electrical hookups. <laughs> and believe me, guys, I wish we had the money and the resources to plug every single one of these things up and run the air 24-7 this time of year. But believe me, it'd make our electric bill go astronomical. Your rear bed is a queen size bed. And what I like about these is at night time you get that cool night air, you can unzip these canvases and you still got the screen to keep the bugs out. Let some fresh air in here and uh, really make it nice. And we're gonna go walk toward the front. And the here is actually more of a king. This may be, a, I think this is a king. It may be a queen. You can see it now that you're looking out against the sun. You can see that little pinhole right there in the corner. Not that big a deal. But um, no mildew or mold on the canvas. That's the main thing. But the mattresses look great. And you still have a table booth that makes a bed. You've got a sleeper sofa that makes a separate bed. No carpet in here, so very easy to keep clean. Place for a TV up there in the corner. You've got a 13,500 BTU ducted roof air, LED light, so if you're boondock camping, you've got, uh, you, they're gonna run longer off your battery. Books and manuals are in here, of course. Man. Feels good in here. I like this big double basin sink. You don't normally see a sink this big in, a, in an expandable this small. Got a lot of living space in here, and that's another benefit of an expandable. You see, most 21 and a half foot campers, you know, with two beds, that takes up all your living space. Even just one bedroom is going to take up at least eight foot of your living space. But because of the way an expandable hybrid is designed, your bed, your bedrooms pretty much fold out to the outside of the camper, so you've got the full 21 and a half feet just all for living space. So to get a two bedroom camper with this much living space, you're, you're gonna be looking at a 35, 36 foot regular travel trailer to get this kind of living space. But instead, you're only towing 21 and a half feet. So a lot of benefits to an expandable. You do have a three burner stove top, you've got an actual oven, you know, uh, not bad storage on the inside. I mean, considering the size camper it is. Uh, AC blowing icicles. Refrigerator and freezer. It is a two-way RV refrigerator freezer, so it runs off of uh, propane and electric. So if you are boondock camping, you can run this off propane. And, and guys, you know, a, a bottle of propane can run this refrigerator for a week or a week or two. I mean, you're only running a pilot light the size of a uh, one of those little uh, plastic cigarette lighter, uh, big cigarette lighter uh, uh, flames. That, that's that's about as big as a pilot light gets. You actually got a real bathroom with a skylight, a separate shower, and unlike a pop-up, you actually got a real toilet with a black water holding tank instead of a cassette toilet that you have to dump out all the time. So I think you got like a 15 or 20 gallon black water tank. Uh, you also have a furnace, water heater. So you got a lot of benefits. You got privacy curtains for each bed as well. Like I said, stereo sounds great. I was jamming out earlier, so. Um, oh, very comfortable, guys. Lord, I know if I, my next one's gonna be without any air, I just know it. So I'm enjoying this one while it lasts. Um, <laughs> but anyway this unit is uh 17.9 the last one i posted last night sold this morning guys so these used hybrids there's a lot of people looking for them nobody has them hardly anybody's got them brand new they just don't build as many of these as they do the regular travel trailers so that just puts more an emphasis on used ones and this one's clean um it's under book it's a Jayco, and um, I mean, you really can't ask for much more than that. Not not for this price range. It's under four thousand pounds, and it's under it's well under twenty thousand dollars. 
and plus guys we don't have any fees you know you go to these other dealerships even the ones that sell them for a lot more than this and uh, you're looking at dock fees and prep fees and all these fees that they're adding makes your head spin and before you know it that price went up two thousand dollars or twenty five hundred dollars or more and then here comes the upsells like the gap insurance and the extended warranties that they're trying to just push on you from the second you walk in till you sign the paperwork guys and guys let me tell you something we don't do any of that you see that price seven well you've seen it backwards but 17.9 it's that price plus applicable sales tax that's it easy simple and done doesn't matter if you pay cash trade if you finance through your bank through our lenders it doesn't matter to us guys it's 17.9 haggle free firm plus applicable sales tax easy simple and done we guarantee the plumbing systems to work which include the water lines the faucets the uh, water pump water heater we guarantee the refrigerator and freezer to work uh roof air to get cold and uh, we make sure you got a power cord your starter kit 45 days of free camping up to seven nights at a time at select rv resorts nationwide you get that and um and we leave anything else up to you guys all that we know we, we handle the major stuff we make sure the major stuff works anything else guys we leave to you any mickey mouse stuff is up to you to fix it or not fix it we well, only thing we cover is the stuff that can ruin your trip you know uh, if you which all the lights work in this thing every light bulb in this thing turns right on but just to say for example uh let's just say this light right here didn't work even though it does that's not going to ruin your trip you can fix that yourself if it didn't or let's just say that um um oh gosh uh so that cushion, let's just say this cushion doesn't have a stain, but let's just say it had a stain on it. It's going to be sold with that stain. It's a used camper. That's not going to ruin your trip. You can still use it. Things like that, guys. We let you handle that stuff. We handle the major stuff. It allows us to sell these things for thousands under book value and thousands under what other RV dealers are selling for the same year make and model. By keeping our checkout process very streamlined and we just cover the major stuff. So like if if we check this thing out and that refrigerator doesn't work and we can't get the part to fix it we're going to replace that fridge and the price is still the same to you or the air conditioner needs to be replaced that's on us at time of sale it's 17 night even if we got to replace the ac um the awning does work so that's one thing you don't have to worry about um so that's good and you've got one little pinhole and like i said the only thing i really see is that little pinhole right there on the canvas no big deal you, you probably put a little piece of if it really bothers you get you a little uh white piece of duct tape and put on it uh, cut you a little small piece of size of your thumbnail and put on it it's no big deal it's not even worth mentioning it, it <laughs> I'm just saying, guys, these are used campers. They're not brand new. As nice as they are, as low priced as they are, there's no such thing as a perfect camper, even a brand new one you're going to work on. Used, new, it doesn't matter. So what we recommend you doing, guys, on this or any camper we sell, and I recommend doing this on any camper you buy from any dealer for sale by owner. It doesn't matter, guys. New, used, you either want to come inspect it yourself if you've got the knowledge and the know-how, or I highly recommend paying and hiring and paying a third party uh, RV inspection service that are unbiased, that give it the full inspection. A few hundred dollars for peace of mind and they'll check everything on it. And um, they even check the smoke detectors, the batteries and the remote controls. I mean, they take, they really do a thorough job and you know everything about the camper what works and what does it before deciding to buy it or not buy it based on that information again guys the only thing we're going to inspect and guarantee are those systems that i mentioned earlier the uh, roof air the refrigerator freezer the plumbing system water pump water heater faucets spigots stuff like that everything doesn't matter what the inspector says that's the things that we guarantee to work you know if he you may have a bunch of five minute projects 10 minute repairs i don't know but that's up to you to fix it or not fix it but at least you know about it before you buy it and that's just part of owning an rv guys you know i've been an rv owner for longer than i've been in the rv business and i've been doing this for 25 years you know guys it's um 
RVs, you're always going to have repairs, maintenance, upkeep, and upgrades at any given time. In all the decades that I've owned RVs, I've never had one that I didn't have something I needed to do to it in one of those categories, either repairs, maintenance, upkeep, or upgrades. I've never owned one that I didn't have one of those things I had to do to it. <laughs> I mean, it's a never-ending thing, and that's just the part of ownership of an RV. And it doesn't matter if it's a brand new 2022 model, a used 18 model, a used 2008, or an 88 model. It doesn't matter, guys. They're all the same. That's just part of owning one. And if anybody tells you any different, they're lying to you. Um, but I'm going to tell you something, guys. It's a lot of joy in owning one of these. When you get to that perfect spot, perfect weather, I mean, it makes it all so worth it, guys. It really does. So worth it to go out there and just have a blast when you have that perfect trip you would do it again a hundred times over and ask anybody that's ever owned an rv and they tell you the same thing you got kids and you see the smile on their faces when you take the camper out and you go camping makes it all worth it they love it well most of them do i'm sure there's some that don't i know mine does um it's just uh makes it worthwhile and then you want to, and then you just want to do it more and more and more, and you know. And once you once you have one and you get the hang of it and you use it, you'll you'll always want one, and you'll always have one, guys. It's it's a uh, it's a lot of fun. It's the best way to describe it. It can be a pain at times, but it can be so rewarding at others. So anyway, financing's available with approved credit down payment. We have no extra fees. We have no upsells, no extended warranties, no gap insurance, no roadside assistance. That stuff's not worth the paper it's written on. The only reason other dealers push that stuff so hard is because they got it marked up three to four times dealer cost. They're making a ton of money off of it. When you need it, that stuff, they, they, it won't come through. I mean, you have to fight them tooth and nails to get partial payment when you need those services. And you pay thousands of dollars for services that you can buy for hundreds of dollars yourself after the sale away from the dealership because they've got it marked up they're charging you two thousand dollars for a warranty that costs them four hundred dollars and then when you need it it's not going to pay anything so don't don't fall victim to the upsells guys that's just a, and then they add it to the financing the dealers make money on financing that's why dealers now most dealers now charge more for cash sales than they do for finance customers because they miss, when you come in and pay cash for an RV, they miss out on potentially thousands of dollars in profit on finance sales. Because if somebody pays cash, they can't mark interest rates up on the financing, can they? They can't sell you an upsell like an extended warranty or gap insurance and just add, hey, just for another $15, $20 more a month on your payment, you get this, this, and this uh, uh, upsell, right? They can't do that with a cash customer. They have to tell them the amount, and, and once you hear the amount, you won't do it. That's why you never, ever, ever, ever buy by payment. That's the worst thing you can do. You buy by payment, you go in, use this one for an example, go in on a camper that costs seventeen nine. it will be $27,000 by the time they add the fees, they add the tax, they add the upsells and the finance charges. You'll owe $30,000 on it, time is said and done. And you have no idea because all you care about is the payment. Payment falls in line with the amount financed. Always look, don't care, don't look at the payment, look at how much you finance and your interest rate. Check with your bank or credit union before you check with the dealers. Have a basis of comparison. Mo you'd be surprised, guys. Local banks and credit unions have really stepped up to the plate in the last few years on RV finance. At least a lot of them have. Not all of them, but a lot of them have. And a lot of the nationwide lender, a lot of the nationwide banks have too. Always check with your bank or credit union. Don't be afraid. Don't tell the dealer that you've done that. Let them see what they can do. And when they tell you their rate in their terms, say, ho, ho, wait a minute here. Hey, I got this rate in this term through my credit union. If you can't beat that, give me a write-up sheet. 
I'll get you a check. They'll change tune pretty quickly. Now here, guys, it don't matter to us who you go through. We don't make money on financing. It's a courtesy to our customers, not a way to make money. It doesn't matter to us if you pay cash, if you finance, if you trade, or a combination of three. It's all the same to us. Our price is the same. It's a haggle-free firm price. You can't beat our prices. That's why we sell five to 600 used units a year. Thank you so much for watching. We do offer delivery service at $1.50 a loaded mile one way. Other dealers charge four to five miles both ways for the same thing. So come out and visit with us, guys. Come take a look at our inventory. We've got a bunch of trailers, motorhomes, fifth wheels, a little bit of everything, well over 100 used units, probably more than about anybody in the southeast right now, and people travel from all over the country to buy from us because we got the best deals in the country. Bar none. Go to our website. Link in the video description below. ParkwayRVCenter.com. If you don't know what your truck can tow, I'll put a link to our uh, free tow service guide, our tow guide on there too. And you can also, uh, it'll tell you the, how many pounds you can tow. Push a button, show me RVs I can tow. It'll show you everything on the website that you can tow that we have in stock. More coming up, so hit that subscribe button. Smash me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share on social media. Feel free to comment, and look forward to seeing you soon here in beautiful Ringgold, Georgia.